Meanwhile, on the other side of the nation, another political move caught even seasoned Canberra observers by surprise. Prime Minister Julia Gillard's decision to pass over Stephen Smith and promote Bob Carr into Federal Cabinet as Foreign Minister turned accepted political wisdom on its head. The former New South Wales Premier will take the casual Senate vacancy created by the departure of Senator Mark Arbib. Political editor Heather Ewart reports. One of the most breathtaking moves in recent political history. Julia Gillard marched triumphantly into a news conference with a trophy that just a few days ago had been ruled out as unattainable. Today I announce the changes to my cabinet and ministry that I will recommend to Her Excellency the Governor-General. First, Bob Carr will join the Senate and will take on the role of Minister of Foreign Affairs. The decision was kept under the tightest of wraps. She'd gazumped those colleagues who thought it wasn't a good idea, and she'd gazumped the media who thought it was totally off the agenda. So what changed? I was churned up. I was in two minds. It was a, a big change in the life Helena and I currently enjoy. I was drawn to public service, but I'd been out of it for a good six years. Um, so there were warring emotions in, in my thoughts. But in the end, when the distinctive voice of Prime Minister Gillard rouses you from your slumber and says, <laughs> will, you be, will you be Foreign Minister of Australia? I couldn't have found it in me to have said no. Could you please explain to us the exact course of events, what happened, why we were told there was no offer and that he's now here? Uh, well, he's now here because I made an offer to Bob Carr yesterday to serve as my Foreign Minister. I made that offer having had a range of discussions during the week, including speaking to Bob Carr. The Prime Minister has asserted her authority by appointing Bob Carr. The option had been killed stone dead on Tuesday and Bob Carr was told that, amid damaging leaks of preliminary negotiations and resistance from some of her colleagues. It looked like one big bungle, especially as the Prime Minister appeared to refute suggestions midweek there was anything going on. In her own mind, clearly there was, and she went it alone. In the end, it's the leader who cuts through. And this Prime Minister cut through all that speculation and made the offer to me, and I accepted. My ministerial colleagues, I believe, will be delighted to see Bob Carr serve as Foreign Minister. Once again, I am not going to uh, canvas discussions during the course of the week. While her team, by and large, is hailing the entry of Bob Carr as a coup and a major boost to Labor's re-election prospects, not all are delighted. Some in her inner sanctum, who weren't consulted, feel they've been sidelined. Others say they're insulted someone had to be brought in from outside for such a plum job. I, Robert John Carr, do swear that I... Bob Carr's interest in foreign affairs is renowned. This is the job he'd wanted for years, but until now, the opportunity had never come his way. As for the man who'd hoped to return to the portfolio since he stepped aside to make way for Kevin Rudd in 2010... Of course, during the week I had a number of discussions with the Prime Minister. Now, I am not going to detail uh, any of those conversations, nor would you expect me to. Uh, but uh, the Prime Minister has made her decisions today. I welcome Bob Carr's addition to our team and I'm very happy to continue to serve in what is a very challenging time for defence. But after Monday's leadership challenge, it's understood Stephen Smith thought he had the signal from Julia Gillard to return to foreign affairs if he wanted to. Today he was taking it all on the chin. I've seen reference in the course of the week to some suggestions that there are entitlements in public life. There are no entitlements in public life. I don't have any entitlement to be disappointed. The one big act of retribution in Julia Gillard's reshuffle is towards Robert McClelland, a Kevin Rudd supporter who's been dumped from the ministry altogether. I want to thank Robert McClelland for his many years of service in the ministry. Robert will be taking up a position as a backbencher. I was always aware, as I indicated, during the course of the uh, campaign for the recent Labor Party uh, leadership that my support for Kevin Rudd could produce that outcome. Uh, when we stand on a matter of principle, there are often consequences, uh, and I was always prepared to accept those consequences. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. All up, the Prime Minister has pulled off what seemed the unthinkable in adding the high-profile Bob Carr to her team. She's gone on the assertive after a very messy few days that should have been avoided. How much better the result would be for Julia Gillard if she'd executed the deal perfectly in the first place. Heather Hewitt reporting there.